Hello YouTube fans, it's Dr. Matthew Johnson. I'm talking quietly because I'm in my office. And there's other offices and counselors and clients, so I don't want to be talking too loud. So turn up your volume. So, um, I have often been asked by people if um, the Janu are able to shape shift in and out of orb form to their solid form and back to their orb form and the Jujaiko who are demons are able to shape shift from orb form into anything they want to be including angels of light to deceive people what's the difference between a Janu orb and a Zhuzhaiko orb. How do you know the difference? Well, that's what today's video is about. First of all, let's start off with watching the video that you just saw on the previous post. Um, John New Orbs Inside the Johnson's Home. And I'm going to show that video once again. And these are most definitely Bigfoot Forest People slash John New Orbs. I'm flying around in our home. Pay attention to the dog's response as it sees the orb zip by. Pay attention to the fact that there's not a bunch of them like dust particles being lit by light all going in the same direction, which is what dust particles do. Pay attention to the fact that they zip this way, they zip that way, they do that. So pay attention to that and also pay attention to the fact that when Cynthia's hand is on her knee, I ask them to go over there and they do. And then I ask them if they do it again, they did it again. Also pay attention to the little sound, the whack in the, the background. That's pretty cool too. So anyway, what you're about to watch are Jean New Orbs. Okay, boys and girls, that's what I thought I was seeing. More orb activity, pretty please. Is it like more drum? Why? Or more bell? Are you seeing them? I am. I was seeing them. With my eyes burn. Wow. That's pretty cool. Thank you. Wow. Do we have any over here? New orbs. Oh, yep, we just had some zip by there. More. Awesome. Thank you. Any more? Any up on the catwalk? Any up above? A little too far away, I guess. Uh, well. Let's go down here though. Can you guys do a trickaroo, spinaroo, spinny orby thing? Kind of change your angles and stuff. Wow. You guys are just zipping all over the place. That's pretty cool. Wow. Wow. Right here. Not back over here again. Can you guys zip over here? Can somebody hang around Cynthia's knee right there? Can you come over and where her hand is? Anybody want to come over to her hand? Oh, wow. Can you do it one more time? Yeah. Cool, thank you. Okay, one last time over here. Awesome, thank you. Wow. Wow, okay, thank you. Love you guys. Okay, those were Jean New Orbs. Now what you're gonna watch are Zhuzhaiko Orbs. And how do I know that they're Zhuzhaiko orbs? Because the couple involved in taking the video um, 
reportedly um, both heard growling, curses and threats. Uh, the orbs materialized according to the couple into terrifying looking demons. When they were um, spending time together, the voice, voices kept saying uh, foul words and, um, and cussed and uh, told one of them that you won't be around much longer and apparently one of them died within a day or so. And then they both claimed that a portal opened up um, in one of the rooms and they saw the beams going uh, in and out of um, the portal. So um, watch these orbs and see if you can tell a difference between the Xianu orbs and the Zhuzhaiko orbs. Ready to that. The earliest they would ever show up would be eight. Oh, and you know they're fucking showing up here at eight. Mm -hmm. You know they will. We know you're here. You know. You know. You know. We did a good job. Yes, <laughs> we know. So, could you? Could you tell the difference between the Janu orbs and the Zhuzhaiko orbs? The answer is no. Visually, they look the same. You can't visually tell the difference between a Jean Nu orb and a Zhuzhaiko orb. Well then, ultimately, how do you know the difference? Well, Jesus said that you will know the difference. You'll be able to tell them by their fruit, the fruit they bear. And uh, the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, gentleness, uh, self-control. And when the Bigfoot Forest people are around, the Jean Nu, when they're around um, at Camp Jean Nu, on our property, in our home, uh, Cynthia and I and everyone who's attended our camps experience nothing but love, uh, healing, kindness, gentleness, encouragement. Uh, some people experience a newfound faith. Others renew their faith. And the Jean Nu of, are constantly encouraging both Cynthia and I to be better people and stronger in our faith in Jesus Christ. That's the fruit that the Jean Nu bear. But as previously stated, before you watched the Jujaiko video of Jujaiko worms, the fruit that was born there was cursing, negativity, threats of death, um, a manifestation of ugly, scary looking demonic beings. Um, that's how you tell the difference. Uh, the fruit they bear tells the difference. And yes, the scriptures say that the demons can present themselves as angels of light. But want you to think about something. It's one thing to present themselves as an angel of light, but I guarantee you they won't behave like an angel of light. I've been pinned to my bed twice right after I got saved at the age of 15 by Jujaco, and you definitely feel and sense the evil um, coming from them. It doesn't matter how they mask themselves, it doesn't matter what they shape shift into, you sense the evil. And so there you have it. When you look at the orbs visually, you can't tell the difference. You can't. But you can tell by the fruit they bear. You can definitely tell by the spirit, by the fruit they bear. And um, that takes a little bit of time to sort that out, but not much time if, if you're hearing cussing and seeing demonic beings manifest and they're threatening you with death then you know right away the difference between a Jean Nu orb and a Zuzhaiko orb. This is Dr. J. Have a good day.